We love it too. Can <laughs> we just get the two, ten more episodes announced? Did we get any more details on that? We're still working on it. That's okay. 20. No, so, so we have 20 episodes mm-hmm. we're shooting and separated in 10. We see them separated in 10. So that's special news for you guys. We, well, we didn't know when the second 10 was going to air, so what we found out is it's airing in the summer. In the summer for oh, which is huge. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Okay. So it's going to be April when we do your 10 run and oh, just a month off. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I was going to be a super I know. Yeah. Yeah. So you fun. guys, your new season is set April 3rd, so it's not coming back in January? No, April 3rd, yeah. Wow, that's a long time to wait. It is, but then, but then you get less time, mm-hmm. you get 20. The best things in life, you have to wait. <laughs> Just like Lilith. That's right. <laughs> again. Oh, nice. And, and yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going to have to just rewatch and restream it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what can we tease about? Because it's very secret, obviously, and we don't want to spoil anything for the fans, but it's something that they can see. Is this about Lily? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Her first husband was someone named Adam. She was kicked out of the Garden of Eden. <laughs> and she believes that he cursed her to be barren and not able to have a child. And so and that really made her mad. They'll have no a woman scorn, and a woman who cannot have a child is a woman that you cannot marry. <laughs> her drive, like the book, is to, is to raise Sebastian. So you really care about her. And this actress is amazing. She's on such an emotional drive. You're rooting for her every step of the way, even though she's wickedly weird and doing nasty stuff. It's all for such a reason that we can't identify it. Um, over the moon excited about the premiere, which Matt directed and we wrote, and there's scenes she will break your heart in the premiere and she'll scare you to death, you know? And it's exciting. It's the, best, it's the best kind of character, right? When you have a villain who you actually, I mean, I feel for the Joker, I don't know about you, but you, you understand what happened to him, and you understand Batman, you understand that he, his, he was, his parents were murdered in front of him, and that when you get that kind of, you know, he's not a villain, but you, the, 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 the complexity of, of that character and the emotional resonance of Lilith is something that haunts the show. The show is like spookier, more haunted, more mysterious, um, and, and as it's gotten darker and darker in, in its in its uh, depths of uh, that area, which Lilith is grounding us in, it's also gotten funny. So you have the duality that to balance the show, which I think you do pretty well. Like you try to entertain people. You don't want it to be all like strum and uh, serious. So it's a nice mix. I'm going to ask you guys a question that I've been asking everybody. Um, I'm a Libra. Homosexuality, racism, betrayal, passionate love, lost love, uh, evil person, need to feel love. All issues that are very important and very real. And for a, a show to take that on seems like a huge um, responsibility. Why did you choose to have the show do all these things and do them very well? It's Kelsey Claire, you know, I mean, it's her books, and I think all that stuff existed in the books. Um, having said that, it's long, I mean, having, having the fantasy, sort of science fiction, you know, genre, I guess is, is the word, having that to play in is so, it's so such a fruitful place to um, examine that stuff. Because we, we would rather talk about racism as a, as a difference between between, you know, the vampires and, and the werewolves, for example. And, you know, it's, it's like it's a fun way to comment on, not just fun, but it's a way that you can comment on things, um, you know, from a, a, dip, a different angle. Um, and, and I think that that's what really lends itself to it, is the metaphor, and, you know, all the dynamics that, that sort of brought up on the yeah, the, epi- the epicenter of the show, just stripped away everything, the series, the warlocks, the vampires, the epicenter of it is people in an art and conflict and when you when you want these people to be so relatable like whether or not they're putting on ceiling armor or not it almost doesn't matter what we have what we're striving to do every day is to make it feel as real and, and, uh, and grounded as possible and those issues are real issues that we're trying to tackle in a, not in a reachy way but in a way that maybe somebody will get something out of it oh, I never really thought about life in that we want to touch people it's why we do what we do we don't do it just to like do the Hollywood shuffle I'm sorry, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. 
his family stuff, like his stepfather and his mother? Is there anything you talk about his demonic views? We, we're, 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 first of all, we get to go to Edom. That is an exclusive for Basic Shadow. Oh, and talk nerdy with us. And talk nerdy with us. Yeah. There, there, is, there is someone named Osmodeus. You might be familiar with him. And um, we, we get to kind of slightly peel back the onion of that, which is super interesting. Um, so Matt, I wish Harry was here too, because he's crushing it this year. He has also this new set, this apothecary, and he really had to deal with the ramifications from season 2B deciding with the Sealy Queen and getting all the warlocks behind him. This is the right thing to do. Magnus, that wasn't the right thing to do. And he was still messed up. And as every, what's super important, and you brought up a really good point, we really deal with the realities of ramifications and bad decisions. You know, people on TV, they do it all the time, and then it's like, oh, everything's fine. No, that's a, life's not like that. You know, and, and so these characters, especially him, he has to really go through a whole metamorphosis of this in season three. We will rock your world. It's amazing. It's so good. Really. I'm not just speaking about my show. I'm just the fangirl. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks, everybody. Thanks, you guys. Nice to see you.